Hi guys, welcome back for your next dose of Bible Chismes on a weekly basis. I'm here for you every Saturday. Every Saturday ako mag upload Promise, totoo na to. Um, last time, na-upload ko siya on a different day, hindi Saturday kasi um, nagkaroon ng issue sa internet provider. But now, I think it's going smoother. So, this should be okay. okay. If you're interested sa chismes, pero sa magandang klase ng chismes, and you're interested to know the characters in the Bible that are non-mainstream, oh my gosh, go ahead. I-hit mo na ang subscribe button. I'm here for you every Sabado. Okay, so last week, pinag-usapan natin kung sino si Ham. At yung mga kapatid niya na si Nashem and si Japhat. Yung customs and yung traditions kasi dati, it's very conservative. Nakita niyo naman kung gaano ka laki yung galit and yung naging curse kay sa mga saling lahi ni Ham which is Canaan and yung mga descendants ni Canaan after makita ni Ham yung kahubaran or yung nakedness ng kanyang tatay. Actually, you know, um if if you check out the text sa Leviticus, I'm gonna put them back sa description box para ma-review niyo rin ha. Um pag sinabi kasi the nakedness of your father. Yung nakedness kasi ng father mo ay yung mother mo. So, hindi ko sure. Baka hindi kong si Noah nga yung nakita niyang hubad. Or yung mama niya. Either nagkaroon ng interest si Ham. Like sexually interested. Or um, nakita ni Kanan. Or nakita niyang both Noah and the mommy ay nakahubad. So, um, kayo na yung bahalang mag mag-judge niyan when you read Leviticus. I'll put them sa description box so that you can also read it. Today, we are going to talk about this is a very controversial story and controversial people um, that not everyone knows or because it's not so mainstream. By the way, nakita niyo ba yung lipstick ko? Ayun ka lang ba nakakita na nagtutupi? Naputok na putok ang lipstick. Dito lang yan sa Bible Chismes. So, itong story natin is very controversial because um, in some texts, hindi sa Christian Bible ha, because, okay, disclaimer, I'm only um, basing the storytelling. Christian Bible, I, I totally respect um, your traditions, your beliefs, and everything that is written in your holy books. Um, I do not mean to offend you um, or to cause any harm. Um, but I am just simply basing my storytelling sa Christian Bible. Okay, please don't go after me. I love you all. God loves every one of us. So, sa ibang holy books, um, iba yung, may konting pagkakaiba lang sa naging story nitong mga characters nito sa Bible. O mapapa-research ka na yan pagkatapos nito. Chismosa ka talaga. <laughs> okay lang yan. Tama yan. It's a thinking kind of faith. And you're free to do that. So, let's talk about Hagar and Ishmael. And sino ba sila? Hmm. Noong unang panahon, um, naging mag-asawa si na Abraham and si Sarai. Actually, ang tawag kay Abram nun, Abram lang, walang ham. Abraham, hindi siya Abraham. Abram pa lang siya. And then, yung napangasawa niya ay si Sarai. Um, nagkaroon ng great famine. Um, and then, sabi ni Lord kay Abram, uh, I will make you a father of great nations. Um, but you have to follow uh, my instructions. Parang ganyan. So, kailangan pumunta ka dito sa lugar na to. Na ituturo ko sa iyo. Okay. Alam nyo, yung, itong si Abram, super grabe ang faith niya. Because, um, talagang, wala siyang patumpik-tumpik. And you know what? Yun yung gusto ni Lord eh. He fully trusted. And then, he obeyed right away. Pag sabi niya, sabi ni Lord, punta ka dyan. Pupunta talaga siya dyan. Sinabi nga niya, ialay mo sa akin si Isaac yung anak mo. Inalay niya talaga. When we do that, I mean, hands, hands, hands down talaga ako kay Father Abraham. Anyway, that's not the point. So, eto na nga. Sumunod si Abraham. Ngayon, doong unang panahon kasi, wala pa namang mga kotse. Hindi ganun kabilis at travel time. Um, so, ang mga tao talagang mahilig maglakad. That's why I think they're fit and I think they live up to hundreds of years old kasi talagang ano sila, fit sila. Nag-travel nag sila ngayon. And then, nakarating sila sa um, Egypt, sa kanilang pagta-travel. And they have to stop sa Egypt 
and stay there for a while because the famine is so great. Scarcity of food, scarcity of water, you might die. So, um, I think that's also one of the instructions of the Lord. Na oh, sige, dyan ka muna. Sabi ni, nagtingan ko, sorry naman. Pero, um, ito kasing si Saray, maganda siyang babae. Okay? Um, however, Saray, alam naman natin lahat, she's barren, she's baog. Sabi ni Abram, okay, I know how beautiful a woman you are. Kasi kapag nalaman ni Pharaoh na wife kita, um, he might kill me because he would want you to be his wife. Alam nyo ganun yung mga customs dati. If a leader likes you as a woman, gagawin ka niyang asawa or concubine or isa sa mga babae niya. You know, a trophy wife, parang ganun. If may asawa ka, something bad is really gonna happen sa asawa mong lalaki. So, paano matutupad yung promise ni Lord kay Abraham if he's dead? Right? Or if something bad really happens to him. But I think this is also one of the instructions ni Lord. Um, so anyway, kasi nga meron siyang, kasi nga may mangyayari. Nag-agree siya na, o oh, sige, sasabihin ni Abraham kay Pharaoh na magkapatid tayo, magkapatid kaming dalawa, si Abraham and si Sarai, um, para walang mangyaring masama kay um, Abraham. Like for her sake, magiging okay si Abraham. Uh, nakapasok na sila sa si Oh my gosh, mga inay, sorry naman, nalaglag yung camera kanina. <laughs> Going back sa atin ng chikahan, nakapasok na sila sa Egypt. Sa Egypt, nakita sila ng mga assistant, ng mga servants ni Pharaoh. And then, chinismis. At chinin ka nila ngayon kay Pharaoh. Pharaoh, ni chicks dun. Ang ganda niya. You might wanna check her out. Ganyan. So, ito naman si Pharaoh. Sige, summon her. Ganyan. Um, nagpunta na sila ngayon sa, kay Pharaoh. And then, Abraham said, This is my sister. Sabi niya, sister niya si, si Sarai. Um, so that, hindi siya ang gawa ng masama ni Pharaoh. And you know what happened next? Um, dahil, sinabi ni Abram na kapatid niya si Sarai, inigyan ni Pharaoh ng maraming maraming gifts si Abram. Super bonga. Livestock, mga donkeys, mga animals. Minigyan siya ng mga pagkain and mga servant. At isa sa mga servants na to, si Hagar. So, Hagar is an Egyptian maid servant. Saan nila nakilala ngayon si Hagar? Okay, so let's move forward. Kasi hindi naman story ni Abram and Sarai to eh. God inflicted a sickness to Pharaoh. Kasi nga, um, nakisama si Pharaoh sa isang babae na meron ng asawa. And that is Sarai. Ngayon sabi ni Pharaoh, Oy, Abram! Sabi mo, Kapatid mo to, ngayon, lumayas ka, umalis ka na, hindi na kita kailangan. You're a liar! Ganyan. Saan ka si Pharaoh? Pinalaya siya ngayon because God inflicted a sickness to Pharaoh eh. Ganyan. Pero alam nyo ba, itong si Sarai and si Abram, magkapatid talaga sila. Pero, um, I think magkaiba lang sila ng nanay. So like, half siblings sila, ganun. Hindi ko sure kung magkaiba ng nanay or ng tatay basta. Basta magkapatid sila talaga. And hindi naman talaga nagsinungaling si Abram sa part na yun. Pero hindi lang niya sinabi na mag-asawa sila rin. Normal na ginagawa dati. Isang kapatid ni Abram, si... to side note lang to ha. Um, si Abram, may dalawang kapatid na lalaki. Si Haran and si Nahor. Ngayon itong si Nahor ay si Haran. Meron siyang anak, si Milka. Babae. Tapos kapatid ni Milka, si Lot. If you know Lot sa Sodom and Gomorrah, oh, pag-uusapan rin natin yan next time, ha? Huh? Um, si Lot and then si Iska, um, magkakapatid sila. And then itong si Nahor, kapatid ni Abram and ni Haran, di ba? Na pangasawa niya si Melka, na technically ay niece ni Abram and ni Nahor. So, si Nahor, inasawa niya yung pamangkin niya. I really don't know how they go about that before, pero yun yung ano eh, ginagawa dati. And that's like normal. Going back to the story of Hagar. Ngayon, itong si Sarai, she's barren or she is baog. Hindi siya pwedeng magkaanak. And she's also getting older. She's, she's, she's old na eh. Ang konyo, she's old na. Siyempre, ang mga babae, merong expiration date ang mga matris natin, di ba? We can only conceive up unto a certain age, right? And pag na-reach natin yung age na yun, it's 
very impossible na to conceive. Pero alam nyo ba, nothing is impossible with the Lord. Mm, amen. Um, ito ngayon si Sarai because um, she overheard, I think she overheard the promise of the Lord eh, na um, yung magiging descendants mo will come from you. I mean, I will make you father of great nations. Pero how can that be? If baog nga si Sarai, hindi sila magkakaanak. Paano yun? She took matter into her own hands. Iniisip niya, ah, baka sa ganitong paraan um, ni Lord ka may bibigyan ng um, heir o ng tagapagmana or ng anak. Um, never fully trusted na, na kaya ni Lord na bigyan siya ng anak from her own womb. So, this is what Sarai did. Tinawag niya ngayon si Maring Hagar, ang kanyang maid servant from Egypt. You remember her? Sitingan mo yung asawa ko. Tapos, yung magiging anak ninyo ay magiging um, anak na naming dalawa. Hagar, servant of Sarai, where have you come from? And where are you going? Uh, I'm running away from my mistress Sarai. The angel of the Lord told her, go back to your mistress and submit to her. And then, Ayaw talaga ni, ni, ano eh, ni Hagar nun eh. Pero sabi nung angel of the Lord, Go back to your mistress and submit to her. I will so increase your descendants that they will be too numerous to count. Hmm. For you are now with child and you will have a son. You shall name him Ishmael. So that's how, um, you know, she named her son Ishmael. For the Lord has heard of your misery. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone and everyone's hand against him. And he will live in hostility toward all his brothers. She gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. That is why the well was called Bir Lahai Roy. It is still there between Kadesh and and buried. Hagar was running away, right? And then, she went to this well. Um, it's, like a, it's a water source, okay? And then, doon siya na, na pagsabihan nung, or nakausap nung um, angel. And then, doon nga nagkaroon ng command na, hey, um, submit to your mistress, and then, um, name your child Ishmael. See what the angel told about the child. Parang, is that really what's gonna happen? Bakit? I mean, I understand na um, it's it, maybe is it all because may approval na ni ni Lord eh, kasi the angel of the Lord spoke na eh, di ba? May instructions na to follow. So I I'd like to know your your thoughts on this. Um, please comment down below. What do you think? Um, bakit ganon yung naging prophecy or magiging life ni Ishmael and ng descendants niya? What do you think? So, nag-agree ba kayo na dahil, dahil concubine siya, um, it's just right na ganun yung mangyari. Bible uh, experts here, uh, please enlighten us so that we can also talk about this in the future um, episodes, okay? Ganun. So, this is a very um, uh, common practice that they have. Kasi dati, um, when you have a maid servant or you have servants, kahit anong ipagawa mo sa kanila um, because you own them already. Parang ganun yung dating kasi nun eh. Bibili ka ng mga servants mo tapos sa'yo na yung servant mo. Diba? Depende sa terms din yun. So, at this point, since gift si Hagar from the Pharaoh, um, wala nang magagawa si Hagar. Kung anong papagawa ni na Sarai and Abram sa kanya, wala siyang choice eh. Nakisipin siya ngayon kay Abram at nagbunga ang kanilang pagtatabi. And that is Ishmael. Ang pinaka-first na anak talaga ni Abram ay si Ishmael. It's not Isaac, it's Ishmael. Anak niya yan kay, kay Hagar. Anak na to, um, siya ay may karapatan sa magiging riches ng kanyang tatay. But of course, the, the mother, so sad to say, since she is a concubine, she's not the official wife, um, wala, walang mapupunta sa kanya. Sa anak niya lang meron. Si Ishmael ay 13 years old noong nabunti si Sarai and she gave birth to Isaac. Um, Ishmael was then 13 years old ha. So, teenager na si Ishmael. Um, Nakikipaglaro itong si Ishmael kay Isaac. 
sa baby Isa. In some texts kasi, kasi yung Hebrew word na yun, I forgot the Hebrew term eh, the Hebrew word. Um, it means two things. It's either um, laughed at him or played with him. And parang nakita ni Sarai na um, Ishmael either laughed at the baby, like in a form of a mockery, parang ganun parang, ah, baby. Or nakikipaglaro siya, di ba? Um, dun sa baby. So, whatever that is, parang something snapped kay Sarah. And she said, mm, Abram, ayoko nandito yung mga yan. Paalisin mo sila. Nagkaroon na ng insecurity ngayon si um, Sarai. Kasi of course, naunang maging anak si Ishmael. Bilang firstborn, um, definitely, dapat sa kanya mapupunta yung mga riches. Pero hindi yun ang pernamis ni Lord. Um, it also said sa Bible, naging physical si Sarai kay Hagar because of, you know, frustration and anger. Kawawa si Hagar. Sinunod lang naman niya yung gusto ng kanyang mistress ni Sarai. And then this happened, tapos magagalit ngayon si Sarai sa kanya. So parang, it's so unfair. So this is what happens if you don't fully trust in the Lord, if you take matters into your own hands. Things get out of hand. Sinabi ngayon ni um, Abram ito kay Lord. Sabi ni Abram, Lord, anak ko si Ishmael ni. Eh. Pero ayaw ni Sarai. Sarai is my wife. What should I do? Sabi ni Lord, sundin mo yung sinasabi ni Sarai sa'yo. And I will take care of your boy. With a heavy heart. Heavy heart talaga. Ayaw ni Abram gawin to. Pero sabi ni Lord, sundin mo yung asawa mo. ba? That heart of obedience and faith in God. Kahit alam mo yun, yung anak mo palalayasin mo. Sinunod pa rin ni Abraham. But he followed the Lord. And um, binigyan niya ng eto ha, nasa disyerto sila. Banished. When you say banished, bahala kayo sa buhay niyo. Lumayas kayo dito. Hindi na kayo sama sa amin. Bahala kayong maghanap ang sarili niyong pagkain. Sarili niyong water. So, yung mga susunod kasing cities or community ay sobrang layo pa. I think you'll have to travel weeks, months before you go there. Ang ibinigay lang na baon sa kanila, isang jug lang. Yung ganito kalaki. Ang parang hand carry. Tapos ilang piraso lang ng pagkain. Which will only last you how many days lang. So it's like, they're left to die in the desert. Okay, so nag-travel na with a heavy heart din. Siyempre, galit na galit. Masama ang loob ni Hagar. Um, and si Ishmael, bata pa siya nun. So, hindi niya alam masyado kung ano yung nangyayari. Pero, I think he knows na they're being banished. For a mom, ngayon, ano mangyayari sa amin ng anak ko? ba? <laughs> Sinunod ko lang yung gusto ng mistress ko. This is what happened. So, nag-travel sila. Hagar is very down already. Nasa medal sila ng desert. Si Ishmael, um, I think bagsak na siya nun eh. Kasi uhaw na siya. I'm dehydrated, hungry. Both of them are. Um, side note, sa statistics kasi, mas marami yung um, water na kikit ng katawan ng babae compared sa katawan ng lalaki. So, mas mauna talaga madidehydrate ang mga lalaki sa mga babae. <laughs> Spoke to Hagar. Sabi ng angel, bakit ka, bakit ka nag-aalala? Um, the Lord is here to keep you, to keep you safe, to protect you. Um, tingnan mo yun, no? Tingin ka doon. Meron doon oasis. Hmm. Diba? Parang, Lord, oh, thank you! May tubig in the middle of the desert. It's not there before. It was never there. And you know what? That place, until now, it's still there. Okay, sa Islam, um, in the holy books of the Islam, andito pa rin to, I think, yung Mecca, Hindi na tawag nilang Mecca. Andito yung water na to. Because Ishmael would then be the um, father or the ancestor of Islam. Um, as per Genesis chapter 21, this is from verse 19. Umiiyak siya. And then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. So she went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. Verse 20, God was with the boy as he grew up. He lived in the desert and became an archer. Okay. While he was living in the desert of Paran, his mother got a wife for him from Egypt. And then, you know, from Ishmael, yun na nga, magiging descendants niya, yung Islam. I am speechless um, with this story. That's the story of Ishmael. And then, you know, um, if you go forward sa um, history, mamamatay si Abram, and then ibibury siya ni Isaac and ni Ishmael um, together. And then from there, 
Doon na magsistart yung mga tribes and all from Isaac and from Ishmael. So that's the story of Hagar and Ishmael. It sounds unfortunate um, just because pinangunahan ni Sarai. It's like I'm blaming Sarai, no? Pero if, if you're in her shoe, we might also do the same thing. At some point um, in our lives, pinangunahan natin yung gusto ni Lord. This is what happens if you don't fully trust Him. But then again, yung inisip nga na yun ni Sarai, um, it led Hagar to listen to what the Lord um, is telling her kahit na alam niya at sinabi sa kanya na ganito yung magiging fate ng kanyang anak. It's heavy. Um, in the Christian Bible, this is what it says. But I think something different is told sa holy book ng Islam and holy book of the Jews. So I'm not sure. If you have any comments at all or questions, you can type them in the comment section down below. Let's talk about that. Um, again, I am not a Bible expert. So the bottom line here is we have to trust the Lord fully. Trust His plans. Because His plans is really to prosper us. See what happens to Abraham. Um, he never doubted. Not one second. Kahit na napakahirap ng pinapagawa sa kanya, tingnan mo. Iwan mo yung country mo. Punta ka sa lugar na pinapapuntahan ko sa'yo. Kahit may famine, kahit may mga dangers, he followed. Sabi ni Lord, palayasin mo yan si Hagar tsaka si Ishmael with a heavy heart. Kahit mahirap yun. Um, si Sarai, hindi siya naniwala. Agad-agad. She devised a plan para magkaroon ng anak si Hagar and si um, Abram. And then eventually, aayawan niya rin naman. So parang... Hmm. At some point in our lives, you are like Sarai. But ideally, I mean, the Lord wants us to be like Abraham. To have a faith like Abraham. Diba? You move forward sa mga stories sa Bible. This is what also happened to the Israelites. Because they never had faith um, kay Lord. After nilang makalabas sa Egypt, um, they doubted Moses. And then... Alam niyo, for 40 years, nagpaikot-ikot lang sila sa desert. Imbis na nakarating na agad sila doon sa promised land, nagpaikot-ikot sila sa desert for 40 years. Just because, nawalan sila ng trust kay Lord. They took matter into their own hands. So. so, that is the story of Hagar and Ishmael. Let me know your thoughts sa comment section down below. Okay? And, um, let me know if you have any ideas um, or if you know any non-mainstream characters sa Bible that you want for us to talk about, comment niyan um, sa comment section sa baba. And um, I will research on that and then um, I will do a storytelling about that. So, susunod nating episode. The takeaways ko talaga is uh, just trust the Lord. He won't do anything to harm you. Guilty ako nito because napangungunahan ko rin talaga yung mga plans niya for me. And I'm still a work in progress. I'm still trying my best to fully depend on him i hope you are too okay i hope um full dependence on the lord um is also what you're aiming for at this time especially ngayong pandemic um everything is out of control but rest in the fact that god is in control and he will take care of all of us i hope you have a blessed saturday uh, a blessed day ahead if you're watching this on a different day um, thank you for keeping me in the background. Thank you for watching this video. God loves you so much. Choose to be kind. Choose to love. And I'll see you again next Saturday. Bye!